Let me get out of the dumpster. Oh, here I am. Wait, wait. <laughs> I got some shades for this. Yeah, how do you like them? I figure we're doing like secret agent stuff, right? So I should uh, obscure my identity. I'm also like fighting with my model a little bit right now. As you can see, my mouth is not moving super correctly and it always looks like I'm grinning like an idiot. Um, so I gotta, I gotta mess with that. Let me get my shades on a little better. There we go. At least I have my preset um, expressions I can fall back on. Give my sad face. So it's a little like, it looks good with the shades. It's kind of serious. Anyways, today we're playing Fights in Tight Spaces. This is a game that I have played before. However, here's our favorite crack addict. Wow, okay. Well, here's the thing. We're leaving the crack in the dumpster because it's serious secret agent time. And uh, yeah, I've played this before. I did uh, the regular campaign, but now you can get a gun in this game. And I just got the gun DLC. Uh, actually, I should probably do uh, some acknowledgements here before I start. Uh, thank you to Older Brother Raccoon for allowing me to game share uh, this game from you. And uh, I hope that the gift of the DLC with the gun is useful to you, but it's also useful to me. So yeah, uh, let's get me in my corner. How big do I want to be for this? We'll see if I get in the, if I get in the way of the cards, just yell at me. Let's see, make sure it's enabled. Yes. So I have never seen if there is a new story or if it's just new cards. I got no idea what's in here. Uh, we're gonna play on Classic Plus because I'm pretty bad at this. Oh, there's a third agent. So we gotta use her. This is definitely a new story. Hello, Trash Panda. Thank you, hello. I like what you've done with the place. Thanks, I'm grievously wounded. What happened? They were strong, fast, dangerous. Take my gun, you may need it. We'll solve the problem with the power of friendship and this gun I found. Sir, you know I don't. Your call, Agent 11. Let's see, um, so yeah, I've unlocked a couple of these from my prior runs. I've only ever won with the aggressive deck. So, could go, throws are weird. I feel like throws in this game are good against everything except for the last boss, which like can't be thrown. So we gotta use Gunslinger because I've never seen the unique cards in here. Let's see. Um, instead of learning it all right here, we'll just play it. And we'll skip the tutorial because uh, hopefully there's nothing new in there. What's the play here, boss? They can get to me. They can get anywhere. Stay off the grid. Hit up the usual suspects. See what you can find out. Hitting is something I can do. All right. Yeah, I haven't played this in a couple months, I think. Already new enemy type that I do not recognize. Eyes on the target. You must be one of our uninvited guests. It was unfortunate we miss you during the assault. We won't miss again. Feels a lot like something someone who is about to miss would say. I like this new agent. They're cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Pistol stance is a new thing. So yeah, in this game, uh, all of the actions kind of happen after we do our turn, and you can see uh, what they're going to do. So this guy is going to hit for 10, this guy's going to hit for 10, and this little punchy thing on the floor shows uh, where that is happening. And this shows that an enemy is going to spawn here next turn. And so you kind of have to preempt all of this stuff 
Um, because you get to go first. Let's put the gun on. And uh, yeah, they all all the cards have costs here, and uh, it takes from this little pool of three. So these are pretty standard guys. This guy can make you bleed if you get hit, so you do not want to get hit. So let's get... And if I stand here, I could prevent this enemy from spawning. But that just means he'll spawn again later. It doesn't actually, like, get rid of him. So, like, we could shoot this guy, and it'll push him back. And if you push him into a wall, he takes more damage. Which is nice. So we can get behind him. And then shoot in the back. I could have tried to counter, but I would take more damage than I would block since they'll hit for 20 combined. Uh, so it's not worth it. Okay, so I see the thing about the gun is you've got to pull it out. Interesting. I think I probably get this every turn. But I see a lot of free damage here because pushing in people into walls is a good thing. And shoving him sideways into the wall also does damage. Roll through this guy. Probably should have shot him first. I could. Yeah, I'll do it. You can uh, roll back the turn three times if I, if you play on easier mode like I do because difficult game. Yeah, okay. Take the gun out. Ooh. Got shot the guy. Now I'll kill him when I... So yeah, the order of actions gets more important than it is now. Because um, eventually they'll start having reactions. Where it's like, oh, if you walk, this guy will walk too. And then you have to be really careful about stuff like that. But for now, you basically want to just not end up standing where they're going to be attacking. Yeah, so the downside of the gun is this yellow X. This means it ends your combo, which is this number, 5 out of 10. Every time you do something that isn't moving, it goes up, and every time you move, it goes down. There's lots of cards that um, get better with the combo, or um, use all your combo to like use it, and they're very strong. So the gun will make that difficult. But luckily, uh, we don't have any of those in this deck that I saw, so... Take this out. Yeah, getting that free card draw is really powerful. Six damage and pushes target. So I can shoot him backwards. Shoot him again. And then counter. So now you'll see when this guy attacks. Block it. Get my counter. Yeah, here's a combo finisher, so I need three combo to do it. Um, could actually hit it now. And it doesn't take any um, momentum, which is this three over here. So we could start with it, get there real quick. Take our gun out, hopefully we get lucky. Yeah. 
This is interesting. I feel like the gun is going to be very strong, but also make it difficult with combos. Let's see. Focus. So yeah, movement is nice to have. Um, the game cheats for you when you play on anything below like crazy, uh, where you'll always have one movement card. But that's not promising that you'll be able to use it if you get cornered. Um, I might skip this one. Slash sounds fun, but bleed is difficult to make work. So yeah, as uh, in true roguelike fashion, uh, there's a big map, and um, you get to pick where you go, and then you can see the rewards on the right, so you want to uh, go where there's stuff that you want. About the same thing, but you can also see the mission here is different. You have to protect someone, uh, which is harder than just shooting them to death, so... Ah, uh, in this little red zone, this is where the magic happens. You can throw people out of here and they die instantly. That's like the edge of the world. But you can also be pushed out of it, so... So, I can't just walk out of the way of danger in this case. What I could do is move to here, push this guy back one, and then quick shot him back another. Or rather, um, stagger shot him back. Because he is able to attack at range, which we do not like get back there so yeah a lot of the game is figuring out how to find a little pocket of safety uh, amidst all of the people trying to shoot you to death you see some arc nuts dna in this not enough hockey buzzer noises Ooh. Another fun thing is getting people to hurt their friends. That's going to pay off. Oh, that's a free way to get your gun out without ending your combo. Interesting. So now, I'll counter this guy, and these guys will have a fun interaction. Yeah. Do I have to be... No, I can just use this right on him if I wanted. And it doesn't take away your combo. But we want them to do the work for us. So we'll just get out of the way. The problem is that other guy couldn't shoot back because he was dead. <laughs> There we go. That's how the void works. You push them out, they die. Let's see. This guy... It's a five pushes one. So I can... Get in the line of attack. I won't get pushed off the edge. I'll block and then shoot back. Yeah, I'm digging this. Uh, the gun is fun. Let me just finish him off. If 
fire two shots in opposite directions. Okay, we gotta take that. Uh, upgrading is always nice. You can buy new cards with uh, your Euros. Because all of the agents are, are European. Let's see. Sometimes the cards change pretty drastically when you upgrade them. Sometimes it's just more damage. I have a lot of the ones memorized from the base game. Draw three cards. Um, it looks like your just regular gun draw is not a card you can upgrade. Makes the combo better. Yeah, the problem with games like these is like when I have money and I end up at a like store, I'm like, well, I better spend it. And I guess in this game, there's not too much to really save for. Ignore dodge is great. Uh, I'm going to get this really strong. Removing cards is good, too. That's So in any card game, whether it is physical or on the internet, if your deck is smaller, you're more consistent. Because what you draw comes from less stuff. Okay, so this person has a shotgun. Uh, so as you can see, they hit all three of these areas. So... And they don't turn. Yeah, so I should be fine to sneak behind. get our gun just to see shoot in the back actually that was a bad idea because they would have gotten shot if I didn't do that but it's fine instead I'll let them get kicked oh I made a good move and I didn't even realize because <laughs> they got pushed back into the shot uh, these are fun. I love games like this. Oh, yeah. Just do huge damage. But do I want to do that? I could do the roll throw. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get rid of them. What I could do is stay where I am, get a bunch of block. Because now I'll block 14, they'll shoot me for 10, and I'll be able to counter at a distance. I don't know how you block bullets with your forearms, but it works. I still want an excuse to use dual shot just to see how it looks. Might have to play somewhat slow in order to not die. Yeah, we'll just uh, move over here. Let's use this just to see. <laughs> Silly. And yeah, they won't attack. Even though they were in each other's range, you have to like trick their intention where it's like, oh, they think they'll hit you first. Gut shot. Very strong. It's one too weak to kill this guy outright, though, unfortunately. Yeah, 
Yeah, and he attacks two away, so I can't push him out. But I could block his attack. So let's... Move up. Get our block ready. Blast him. Focus is nice because it's like there's almost never a bad time to use it. Oh, I can't draw my gun if it's already out, huh? That's fine. Get our counter ready. There we go. Yeah, this thing is strong. So this little plus means that it's already upgraded, like you don't have to spend any money, which is nice. Let's go counter shot plush. Jolt is good, but like I'm not really too into combo. Ah, oh, this doesn't really help us. We're at full health and we don't really have a long-term injury, so bit of a waste, but that's life. If you want to do things quick, uh the door is usually the strat. Target identified. That's me, right? I'm the target? Preparing to engage. Talkative hired killer, aren't you? Yeah, who is this dude? He does 10 damage at range. He gets five block at the start of every turn. Strong dude. But we can use his gun to our advantage. Could just gut shot this guy and be done with him. Yeah, since he hits for 10, though, uh, we really don't want to end up in front of him. So we'll go here and stop the spawn of this enemy. Not super efficient, but it's what it is. Let's see if we get someone strong. Oh, yeah. Do huge damage just to start. He's at 16 now. We can just blast him to death. Waste a bullet on the wall behind us. Be fine. Hmm, let's see. Too bad, if I could get to this spot, I could have uh, pushed him out the edge. Yeah, so much like pushing cards, but I can't get lined up right. But yeah, pushing is good, even if uh, you can't push them out. Getting people against walls and stuff is pretty strong. Oh, and come to me. We want to get him right here. Hmm. Yeah, he's a bit far away. Yeah, I won't be able to hit him. I should have ran up to him. Because none of this will be able to hit, unfortunately. And yeah, you want to do this fast because of these objectives up here.
Yeah, we're not drawing a lot of damage. But this will do it. Ooh, these are all fun. Front kick is nice because you can just like close some distance. This is cool because you can get people to come to you. Although since I am uh, a gun person, I'm going to go with the kick. Stun dart is fun. It can really save you. So yeah, there's some pretty crazy attack patterns. This guy is going to do like a big... Uh, I just made a motion in real life that you can't see me do, but imagine just throwing a big ol' hook punch. I'm gonna get dual shot to work in this level. One way or another. And yeah, he's got a ton of health. Uh, he gets a block every turn. Or he gives allies block, so you wanna get rid of him. See about this. So if I move here, got two left. We can gut shot him and then stagger shot him backwards. Oh, he changed direction. I forgot. That's fine though. It'll still work. Get him back there. And now he will put in some work for us. Dude's got like a pretty sick Santa beard. Mm, 12 damage is not to be sneezed at. this could get another gun card but I have I have four so I could use all of these I have no pushing which means okay I have formulated my plan Oh, that won't stun. That's fine, because I'm out of his range. Now we'll block the big dude. Get our counter. I don't think I can throw this guy either. No, I can. Some big dudes you can't throw. He's got 24 effective health. I do have it. Oh, I, I can't throw him. Okay, that's not good. It'll be fine. I can get out of the way. I don't think that this... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Um, no, he's still alive. I don't think he'll get punched, though. Because he's down.
Hmm. Yeah, we've got a lot of movement. But what we could do is push this guy back so he's out of our way. And then put our gun away, which is a crazy thing to think about doing. Because then we get more cards. We can shoot this guy. Didn't manage to make that work as promised, unfortunately. But that's a good thing. Hmm. Take this guy out. I kind of want to wait and use gut shot on this guy. Could I do that? Not without getting hurt, unfortunately. Well, wait. If I push th push him. Yeah, here we go. Although, now I'm going to get smacked. But, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> that was my 100th enemy. I got killed by uh, another enemy. I guess that'll let you know a little bit how much I've played this. There we go. Ooh. Oh, man. Armor piercing rounds. So when you draw it that turn, it'll you'll discard it at the end of the turn, right? Well, no, you don't. You don't discard cards you don't use. I'm going to take it. We're taking new stuff this time, just because. There's a max health up. If I go this way. But there's a max combo if I go that way. Well, we want to go this way so we can get that extra gem. Gosh, I just got I just got a notification on my phone that Iris is playing Gundam Evolution and the thumbnail just says before the server closes and now I'm really sad. I played Gundam Evolution with my little brother uh a lot. I put like a hundred plus hours into that game. Now I'm sad. I'll watch that stream after after this stream. Oh, you work in pairs too? Do what's necessary to get the job done. Tell that to your friends. I think you can find them littered about the place. We're wasting time. These guys are like cool. In the in the first campaign, there were no cool guys. Oh, I got gut shot. I like gut shot. Yeah, you can't beat 24 damage for one. And now it goes through block with that. Oh, man. We're, we're having a good time here. I'll never get that to work. Let's see. Yeah, I better just uh, step out of the way. Got some friends. These guys, I know these guys, they have uh, auto attack. Which means if I step into their effective range, uh, they will just take their action early and punch you. Which is uh, just a 5 damage slap. So you have to uh, mitigate that somehow. And yeah, it looks like I did discard my armor piercing rounds. But there are ways around that auto attack. So say counter shot, right? You walk in. He'll attack you, but you'll shoot back. Hmm, let's see, though. 
Might actually have to run this one back because that won't stun, will it? No, it will, because it went through the block. Luckily, they don't auto attack when they like step up next to you. That would be too good. Uh, yeah, if you attack from it as well, it will hit you. But you can do other things that aren't attacking in the range and be fine. Take your gun out. Uh, you will not get pushed. Hmm. Try to get closer to that rifle guy. He's freaking me out. And I guess what we'll do is shoot this guy, put our gun away, get more cards. Mm, nothing really of use, unfortunately. kick this guy backwards, um, he won't be in range to attack us anymore. Hmm. I guess I could have just thrown him, though, huh? For more damage. But I'm fine living with my the rollbacks I don't really use for optimization. I use them just to like bail myself out if I do something really dumb. Counter's gonna be important here. Yeah, let's focus on not getting killed. And we can stun this guy. Well, actually, I've got 26 block. So this guy can shoot me for 10, and this guy can push me for 5. And I'll be able to counter them both, I believe. So we don't want to stun them. Oh, I used both my counters. Oh my gosh, I just learned something. That's big. Your counters don't go away as you use them. I either didn't know that ever or just remembered. But regardless, I'm pretty happy about it. See, this is where the audio auto attack is annoying because I can't get in there. That won't stop me from just shooting this guy in the in the chest or the gut, as is described in the card. <laughs> move here oh no that's the shoving place so yeah we can't attack from here because this guy's got us like pinned down but there are ways around it I'm telling him to leave <laughs> with a gun Finish him with a dart. See if I can't get anything that'll help me. Nah, I just gotta get out of the way. Give me a gut shot. How about now? Oh, you do a lot of cycling your deck looking for uh looking for the right card when you take your gun out. him backwards. He'll come back with the pipe, but we're ready for it. Here's something cool that you can do is uh, you can play out all of your actions in one go. Uh, I kind of wish that they sped up this feature, right? So like it happened really quick. So it looks more like it's happening in the moment, but it's kind of a cool way to see how the fight scene would go if there was no thinking involved. 
got a lot of good like dynamic camera cuts and stuff. <laughs> A lot of blood in uh in this mode because gun usually when i play the just like punch guy there's a lot less blood that looked awesome i love that <laughs> Cute little thinking animation when I'm getting my extra momentum point. I love that feature. I did not get enough combo though, so uh, no money for us. Ooh, this is good. Dodge is great, just lets you ignore one instance of damage. Let's take that. This is cool. Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking all the gun cards, even if they're not the best choice. An envelope is slid under your hotel room door. It contains a slimline USB stick. Let's see. Yeah, let's send it to the lab. Get some some money. The stick contains the location of a secret lab. Your bosses thank you for bringing it to their attention. Never stick a USB drive in your in your computer if you find one on the street, no matter how curious you are. Here's a good story. When I worked at a gas station, uh, one of the many jobs they had me do was clean out the vacuums that people use for their car. And I found all kinds of stuff in there. I found a working DVD of Bad Boys 2. I took that home. Uh, but I also found, like, USB sticks and stuff all the time. Uh, even though I was a dumb kid, I never did plug them into my computer because I wasn't that dumb. But I did bring home the copy of Bad Boys 2. I plugged that right into my PS3 and had a nice night. <laughs> Oh, the, the copy of Bad Boys 2 is in the trash, not in the vacuum. You can't vacuum an entire DVD case. I should clarify. It's just that the vacuums were right next to the trash. Yeah, more block. More block is good. Here's the boss. With the strongest beard of them all. This guy looks like, uh, he's got like a macho man. All he needs is the glasses. What's his deal? Oh, he turns to face you, so stepping aside doesn't often work with him. Let's do some science. If I near miss this guy, will it stun him? It will. Okay, that's that's good to know. Even if you don't hit a guy behind him, which means we can step right up and uh, show him our little friend. These guys will start taking care of themselves. Get our gun out. Slip, shove. Got two more. We can we can do it all. Oh, can I make it work? I can. It's not really like the efficient thing to do, but it's gonna look cool. Yeah. No, it is the efficient thing to do because of the slip and shove technique. Now he's uh, he's lined up for a good time. Those henchmen are getting a demotion. That was not an achievement. 
It should have been for how cool that was, but it was not. I'll, I'll let you know that. Yeah, we can just step up and uh, finish him. Wait, we have no movement. Oh, this is movement. Gone. Yeah, you don't have to take out the henchmen in the boss levels. Let's see. So these two, like, aren't that exciting to me. So I'll get this. Because if you don't get this, you have to, like, pass one time. Or two times. And this will just prevent that. You continue to impress Agent Eleven. You gain any leads? Nothing concrete, but I'll keep turning the screw. That's what I like to hear. Let's see. The insiders. I guess I should have said these are like a biker gang. While originally a loosely connected set of gangs, the range of activities and the scope of relationships within the prison system is too great to not constitute a single powerful entity. With members seeking specific sentences in specific territories just to convey orders from the group's powerful kingpins. This is like a, a prison gang that you infiltrate. Looks like this new organization is responsible for a series of unattributed international assassinations. And they screwed up yours, now they're out in the open? We should be so lucky, they've taken over a high security prison. Guess I'm going back inside then. I guess this is like a sequel. Cause like going back inside, like you, you did it in the main game. Yeah, there's a lot of orange jumpsuited guys in here. Agent 11, back again after the beating I gave your lot last time. Every time you defeat one of us, we get stronger. If that's so, then let's see what you've got. Half of the fun I found of doing the VTuber thing is getting to like, like I, I just narrate stuff like in my normal life, but now like I feel like I have an excuse. <laughs> okay, these guys get stronger the longer they live. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and they hit pretty hard. They won't turn to face me though. So let's slip over here, take a shot, then set up that. This won't help me, unfortunately. Yeah, the numbers get bigger pretty quick. I don't think this guy can dodge my throw. Let's do... You know, we were talking about using rollbacks for science. Let's see if he dodges my throw. He does not. Okay. Yeah, he's got every uh, every turn he gets to dodge the first attack. Kind of want him to hit me so I can counter. Does that push at all? No, it just bleeds if I don't block it, but I will block it. We don't want to push him back either. Let's see if there's any. Oh, wait. If I holster my gun, is my counter still active? 
It says deal 18 damage. And I won't be able to roll it back, though. But it's fine. We'll see what happens to us. Yeah, I, I knew that would happen. Yeah, we don't have our gun to counter. Okay. Who's this guy? That's a new enemy. He hits hard, and that's all. We're cornered. But we can get out of the way. Here's our big damage. I love, like, the reaction that they have to that. Let's get him in the way. Take a shot at this guy. Shoot the wall behind us just for, like, to put strike fear into them. Oh, yeah, it's getting uh, tight spaces as advertised. This guy's dodge is starting to annoy me. We'll get out of here. Take that guy with us. Yes, yeah, so this guy's bleeding from that knife strike. I forgot that he was going to do that. Let's try that again. So we can just step into this attack because we'll dodge it. But also we don't even need to dodge it because we can just put him over here. Got three turns to take these guys out. Lots of counters. However, this guy hits quite hard. We can't counter all of it. This is not ideal. So he attacks first. And we'll do 18 damage to him. But that will take 19 block. And we will have 24 block which means we will have five remaining, which means this guy's 10 would go over by five, which we don't like. So we're gonna have to play real slow, unfortunately. Might not make the timer, but it's better than dying. Or I could stun this guy. Is that gonna stun him even though he dodged it? Okay, cool. So now, now we're in business. Oh, and that would have pushed us out of the way of his attack anyway. I gotta... I gotta get with it. So he'll dodge this. Which is fine. Because we can kick him. And that'll do it. Ooh, throw your gun away and get two momentum for it. Since we've always got our gun, it would be a pretty free combo to just put your gun out and then throw it away and get two momentum. Let's do that. I 
This is dangerous because since it's movement, it might be the one movement you get and it won't help you. So I might, I'm gonna take Rising Knee because that's a fun one. Oh, okay, we gotta go here because the reward is extra momentum if you do the task. Even though it goes to medical and I'd rather go to the gym and get sweet gains, it's probably gonna be to get this, but you gotta get it quick. And uh, it's guarded by a bunch of dudes with shotguns. Yeah, we've only got six turns to get over there. Ow. All right, punk. <laughs> we're, we're doing that again. In the right order. Get to go through his armor, which is nice. So I've got six block. He'll hit for eight. This isn't going to feel good, but we've got to get to that briefcase. Do get an extra shot out, which is nice. Not really going to do much for me. But yeah, this is actually looking pretty rough. Oh wait, I could move two tiles and get out of the way, which is good. Yeah, let's do that. We've got to try to get over there. Let's see if we can get any more movement. No. Oh, okay, yeah, vault is movement. These guys are super dangerous when you're far away. Gotta get up to that briefcase. Stun this guy. Get our extra momentum. Extra shot for good measure. Toss our gun. Take out our other gun. <laughs> I've got a couple of these things. Ah, here we go. So you can use front kick as movement to get up close. What you gotta watch out for is if you stand here and block, it'll push you back off the cliff. But dodge, oh, uh, you won't get pushed if you dodge. I'm going to bet the whole game on that fact. Actually, I'm going to not, and I'll just move him over here because I am a coward. Probably didn't need to do that. Yeah, I won't help. We've got two turns to get that briefcase without getting murdered. Uh, we can just step over and get it, huh? But not before we set them up for some fun. Got it. See if I get anything good with this. 
Oh, that gives momentum, not cards. I would normally kick this guy, but uh, Gunman will do it better. Now we've just got to not die. It would be nice if we could push people, but we'll see. Let's get rid of him. Use this for movement. I could have moved here and shot him, huh? That's fine. Well, and then I could have... It's fine. We're not in any rush. Just mess with him a little bit. And it's not two enemies, but it's still fun. Shortcut to the first floor. Actually, he's over there. Empty magazine. Oh my gosh. You have to really know what you're doing to make this work. Because your combo you lose when you take the gun out. But I could also see myself taking the gun out and then getting three combo. I'm going to take it just for new card's sake. We'll get a max health up. Cost goes up every time, so I don't want to do it more than once. I probably shouldn't have mentioned that uh, that Iris stream for Gundam Evolution, because if my little brother is watching, he'll stop watching this and start watching that. And who could blame him? Okay, this guy, he has counter. So when you hit him, he hits you too. If he can. And that's the key. Oh, that was the first time I think I've ever sneezed on stream. <clears throat> so if you witnessed it, congratulations when I'm famous. That'll be uh that'll be huge. Let's get him over there. And then we can shoot this guy. And then we can get him back there. This guy has auto attack, so when people enter his range, he uh, does bad. This is just enough to get rid of this guy. You can see the order, like two, three, four. Oh, this guy was one uh, of the actions they'll take. So this guy would get me out of range of the gun. So what I'll do... Take my gun out. Get ready to counter. Ooh, let's gut shot him just because we can. And then he'll knock us away. But then we'll counter after we block. Could have sworn I had counter. Maybe you don't counter counters.
Let's see. So if I shove this guy here, let's see if he auto attacks this guy and then this guy attacks back or if he attacks me. Okay, that's what we want. Take your gun out. Never a bad time to have that. How am I going to not get hit this turn? Hurt by getting this guy out of the way. Shooting at this guy and making him not shoot. Steel shot. Oh, do I have? I can. See what this looks like. Nice. That's a lot of damage. And then I should be safe where I am. Knife guy is moving in. Give me gut shot. No. Hmm. Get out of the way. Put the gun away to get more cards. Push this guy into that punch and that counter. Now he's ready to get shot as well. Quick draw on him. Ooh, if I stun him too. Then the shot will go to the other guy. All right, that was good. I'm not making good use of this hole in the wall, but Let's see if I can get rid of these guys in three more turns. I see a dual shot option, which I've been looking for. Oh yeah. But if I attack from here, this guy will hit me. So let's get out of the way. Got shot. I have a dodge, but I can't even get in, in range anyway. Two more turns. I think I can do it. Get out of the range of the auto attack. Give him a big punch. And a punch with my gun. Um, knee this guy into the range of that guy's stab. And we hope we can take this guy out in one turn. Do I get 23 damage? Probably not. Not with this. Unfortunate. Yeah, there's no way around it, unfortunately. Oh well. Then we'll uh we'll block. No! Did that go through block? I got hasty. I deserved it. You never get comfortable.
12 block retain so it stays in your hand. Uh, split kick is like, uh, it's like shooting them with your feet. <laughs> I feel like I should get split kick just to like stick with that cool, like the Van Damme, but with guns. But this seems, this seems pretty good. Gain one momentum. No, we're taking split kick. This will let me heal. We'll go here. You know, I've already dealt with a bunch of you a lot. That's relevant. I am faster, stronger. Bet you're fun on a night out. Also irrelevant. Who are these guys? Protect the informant. Okay, so the way this works, I should explain this one. This guy is going to act like he's our enemy. Um, so he's going to swing at us full force, like he, he's a bad guy. But if he lives through this, um, we get a reward of extra health. So we want him to not be, like, attacked. Which means a shot like this is a really good idea. I worry about keeping this guy just out there to be able to snipe at me. Hmm, that's probably the wrong order to do things in. But that's okay, we're not in a huge rush. What a like, funky song. could shoot the informant just to build combo. Sorry, buddy. He'll live. And then blast this guy a couple times. And then we can step right out of the way. Oh, it's getting close. Close quarters in here. Take care of our problem. I want to make progress this direction, so I will step up and dodge. Hopefully this guy comes over here. Yeah, there we go. Problem is I can't step in front of him without causing a problem. What I can do is get 12 block and then step in front of him. Yeah, we're fine with that. Armor piercing rounds are quite helpful here. And get him out of our way. This would be enough to finish him. And the informant lived. 
which means we're getting free health. And we only had to throw a stun dart at him. He's fine. Part of his job. Ooh. 22 damage to stunned enemies. I already have a switch chance. This is pretty situational. We've got like two ways to stun. I'm gonna skip this one. Double damage on the next shot or any kind of attack. Let's do that. We can combine that with a gut shot. So we're at full health, which means I'm not super worried about the informant. <laughs> uh, he may be a casualty to this whole thing. stun him and then throw away my gun in order to have enough movement to move here and dodge and push him so that auto attack will go off there we go that's efficiency right there we want to reach five combo if we can Get our stun so he won't auto attack us. Make use of the armor piercing. Unfortunately, that took our combo. Yeah, we're probably not hitting five. That's fine. Unless I can do something really crazy and just bag on the informant. But it's whatever. We'll just get rid of him and be done with it. Shove is good. I might take another shove. I'm curious about these gas mask guys. They were not in the first story. Oh, the doctor. Okay. When we move, he'll get a movement as well. No attack, but he'll like run up to you. Man, this hand sucks. So yeah, if I move, he'll move as well. I can at least bash them together. That's the thing, right? You're guaranteed one movement, but you could certainly draw more. And that's not always good. Gun time. I kind of want to use this on the doctor just because he freaks me out. But I've got to dodge if I use my movement. So let's... get here. Now we've got a dodge ready. 
And we can get 16 damage on him. Yeah, this will miss. Hmm. A lot of pushing possible. Altogether, though, that's only 12 damage. Let's see if I can back him up far enough that I'm able to avoid him. Yeah, he can only move one. So that is safe. Ooh, he's going to do something weird. Reduce combo by three. That's fine. I love being able to take the gun out and then instantly get another gun card very powerful guy only moves or only hits one spot away oh you know what I could do just move up here and then shove that guy over and that's gonna take shift and that's just one between the two of them so I've got can I not rising knee him? Why is that not working? Oh, I have to move into the vacated tile. Hmm. It looks like I'm gonna get hit by something, and I think that's just this guy's. find out though. Will I counter that? Dang. Shuffle that whole deck for one card. Stun. Yeah, I gotta get out of the way. Going real slow, but safe enough. Take our gun out in a uh, in style. And we want to be avoiding this doctor. I think I can bank this for next turn. Yeah, it looks like I did get to bank it. That's good. So instead of using my double damage or did that shove that shove was an attack so unfortunately it doubled to zero yeah unlikely i can kill this guy in one more turn for the bonus well <laughs> it's possible now oh. problem is i have to spend so much on bob and weave Oh, we got it.
Hmm, not super hyped about any of these. But take cover. We're taking new cards. Like gun related cards. So this kind of mission, uh, we want this guy to not die. He will not pretend to be an enemy, and the enemies will go after him. Your plan is falling apart. We've taken down the death's heads, and the insiders are next. You think we have nothing but bikers and convicts? I keep taking down organized crime gangs all day. We have our sights a little higher than that, Agent 11. Yeah, I'm curious about these guys. So yeah, he's just going to get stabbed, um, and there's not much I can do about that when it's so far away. Push. Ooh, this will be cool looking. Front kick here. Near miss through the guy. Oh, but he dodges too. But that will prevent him from uh from attacking. Stun him and step out of the way. I love this card. Getting the momentum back is amazing. Let's put you over here. Well, I blocked 12, but this guy hits way harder than that, so we're still gonna get out of the way. You can see this guy's starting to change targets. Oh, this guy actually turns, which is not good. I think we're going to get shot. But that's fine, because we can get good amount of block turn this way just so I can chase him down and we'll block that shot nice come on I need near miss now's like the time He did dodge that. Oh, wait a minute. So that means if I dual shot, it'll do enough damage to kill. There we go. Now we've used his dodge, we can start shooting him. And then step up to dodge. I think this guy might live. I usually do not do great at these missions. This is going all right. Let's see, I can roll throw counter shot oh i'll still get hit for two though i 
I don't know if I can actually avoid getting hit, right? Well, this guy actually just turns. So I could roll throw and then just step aside. Okay, so we can step over here, get our counter ready. Oh, but he dodges. shot to take the dodge got shot to kill him good vaults over here lost the gun for momentum it won't help Just start laying into them. This guy won't turn if I get back here. They can say hi to each other. Not worth this stun because we want them to hit each other. guy is going to get shot and that's just how it's going to be but good news if i can move the camera slip over here shove this guy out the door you like those however that is all we're getting ouch sorry person informant or whatever Ambassador, what is his name? Yeah, Ambassador. Shield guys, they suck. Cannot be harmed in front. Yeah. I think I can kill the two guys in front of me. Oh. He's gonna get stunned from that. Nice. Look at that. He landed perfectly. Dude is crazy looking. He's gone. Now we gotta wrestle with the shield guy. They are horrible. Guess I'll just get my steel self ready. Cause yeah, ooh, I could throw him. That's big damage. But maybe we can do better. I don't think we can do better, unfortunately. OK, 
because yeah if we move over here we couldn't roll through so we are gonna just do it slow Can I gut shot him? Go through his shield. <laughs> oh boy. Plan of action is so good that I think I gotta take it. Pretty powerful. Let's do the event. A drunk man at the bar in prison, I guess, tells you he will unlearn your bad habits in exchange for a drink. Downs the drink and you feel lighter. I can get rid of a card. There are cards in these games that are just not great. Uh, like Quick Strike, I think I had one of. Like just the regular punch. Yeah, don't need that. We have better things to draw. Mm -hmm. Oh, this would synergize with uh, Feel Self really well. Because it would do 32 damage. We'll take it. Oh yeah. All right, we will fight this boss and then I will save the rest of this for another stream. I am gonna play uh, with my brothers some Aliens Fire Team Elite after this, so I don't wanna keep them waiting too long. Let's see what we got. Oh man, the combo just falls into my lap. insane <laughs> 48 damage just like that shoot him again shoot him again oh 66 damage in one turn not a bad start Oh wait, we could have done combo finisher there. It only does 14 though. If I get counter shot ready. He'll still do a lot more damage than that. We could do preparation. Let's do that. So we'll dodge his attack. But there's a second guy. Who goes first? Okay, this guy goes first. So we're dodging his attack. And then blocking for 15. And then let's get our counter. I think this is going to kill. Because now do I counter? Yep, there you go. Easy. That one is usually way harder. But we really lucked out. Stay in pencil, pistol stance between turns. Free movement each turn. I love that. Gotta take it. Looks like we've ruffled a few feathers. I've been doing the ruffling. Looks like you've been redecorating. Yeah, they fixed the office. <laughs> tidy desk, tidy mind, Agent 11. I should, uh... Yeah. Let's see. The ninjas. These guys suck. A secretive ninja clan acting behind the scenes for over a thousand years. The Jade Staff is responsible for organized terror attacks throughout the world. 
With communications exclusively conveyed via disposable human messengers, authorities around the world have so far been unable to track down any of the clan's leaders. Something's bugging me about these guys. Every time I encounter them, they're getting stronger. So are you, Agent Eleven. Keep evolving and we can win this. The assassins are on the move. They're bedded in with the Jade staff in Europe. On it. Alright, good time to stop. Let us go back here. That was fun. I uh, I really like this game. I've uh I've played it a good bit before, so I probably could have played on a higher difficulty, but um I also didn't want to lose horribly in front of all of you guys. I probably take off the shades now that the secret agenting is done. But yeah, um that was good. I will probably finish this up um, sometime before next Monday because I want to do uh, more Avogado. I've been enjoying that and I don't want to get too rusty because that's way harder than uh, I thought it would be. So yeah, I'm going to go play some Aliens. Um, what else? Yeah, um, I was going to... Another, another possible stream idea is uh, I'm going to do some testing of the Hollow Cure characters to figure out who I want to do my world record attempt as, because uh, all of the characters have different leaderboards. So I might do that on stream, I might do that off stream, but uh, yeah, I'm cooking something good for the Raccoon Goons, by the way. I've got a, uh, a fun idea. Uh, we're going to call it an educational stream, as in your guys' near future. So uh, you'll, you'll enjoy learning. Anyway, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.